Fox magazine. I bet you're thinking, what is he on about? AG D90, or as we all know it, the P90. Nice replica, but with included Box magazine. So before I start on reviewing this thing, I'd love to get your comments down below. What do you think of this thing? At first glance, have you tried and tested one? And what do you actually think to the Box magazine? Does it hinder the sort of appearance of this, or do you quite like it? Now, this is pretty cool. It converts a simple M4 magazine into the sort of magazine that goes onto the top of the P90 or the D90 in this instance, and allows you to obviously convert it into a high capacity magazine, feeding it all the way through into the chamber, and then obviously making sure you don't run out of them BBs. But then, with the iconic P90 lookalike, you're obviously gonna get some great looks on that field. And people are gonna ask you, what is this thing? So made from a full polymer construction, I mean, this thing is really hardware and durable. It doesn't feel flimsy at all, and it's got some great weight to it, so dead easy to carry around. Don't need a sling with this thing unless you wanted one. But this is obviously going to mean you can peek around them corners, get into them buildings, get around that CQB field really, really easily. The features obviously are standard. You get the box magazine and the M4 magazine included. The butt of the rifle is where the magazine's housed. Usually takes a bit of a block battery in there. Some of the longer ones don't fit, so just be aware of what batteries you're putting in here. Along the iconic style of this gun, you'll notice that you've got the Picatinny rail along the top here for your optics. And then either side at the front here, you've got your other railings for all of your other attachments like your torches or your lasers. You can go crazy and make this thing look awesome. On either side, you've got an ambidextrous cocking handle, a nice short muzzle, obviously, like I say, to peek around them corners, get around them buildings and clear it out nice and easily. And then nice and uniquely with this style of SMG, you've got the selector switch here, safe, semi and fully automatic as standard. On the left hand side of the box magazine, you've got this button here, which releases the actual M4 magazine. So once full and to load the magazine, all you'll need to do is make sure to leave the hatch at the top of the magazine open, push it into the receiver, and then that's good to go. What we're gonna do is take this over to the range and have some fun with it on the targets, see what we can get down, see how accurate it is in the power, and also I'll test the FPS to make sure that it meets the recommended requirements, and then I'll give it some final summary and verdict. So the D90 from JG then, what did I think about this thing? I mean, it's an iconic look, so obviously it's modelled on the P90 and it just looks really nice and futuristic. I love the fact that it's obviously all polymer and it's very, very sturdy and lightweight. Obviously means that you're going to be able to get around them corners and then buildings dead easy like I keep saying. It just makes this a really versatile weapon. The magazine conversion with the M4 high capacity magazine just means that you're going to be in action for a lot longer with this thing. You've obviously got a massive amount of BBs compared to the standard magazines on these things. So it is just a big plus to actually buying it with this included. Only downfall to that is just the look and design of it. it does stick out, is a bit bulky on there, maybe a bit less sort of comfortable when you're actually looking down the actual sight on this. So it isn't to everyone's taste. The cocking handles, just for aesthetics on there, would be nice if it had some functionality or a bit more less clunkiness with the spring noise. But apart from that, it's great fun for the price range you pay for it, as well as obviously getting the box magazine. It's a great little addition to your SMGs and you can have some great fun on that battlefield. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a comment down below. I'd love to get your thoughts on this. Have you tried these with the box magazines and what do you actually think to the style and design of it with that on? Until next time, we'll see you soon.